So how do you get an insurance quote from one of our licensed insurance partners? Simple, you take our quick questionnaire and I'm gonna walk you through that process right now. The first thing you wanna do is click the insurance tab in the app and look for the blue bar that says start questionnaire now. Now before you do that, remember that insurance is currently only available to US residents. And go ahead and hit start questionnaire. The first page says verify your details. Be sure to put in your name, email address, phone number, and your address and make sure it's correct and hit next. Next it says, what is your business name if applicable? So if you have a business name, go ahead and enter it here. Or if you don't, you can hit no business name, but you see the I in the top right corner? You can hit that for more information at any time on any screen where that shows up. In this case it says, if you have no business name, we'll use your name as a sole proprietor. So go ahead and hit no business name if that applies to you. And on the next page you see, your business is a corporation, limited liability company, partnership, individual slash sole proprietor, or other. So in many of your cases, it's going to be individual slash sole proprietor. And on the next screen, it says, what year was your business established? So when did you start doing your business? You can go ahead and type in any date that was. In this case, let's say 2010. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Do you consider yourself a photographer, videographer, or both? Well, I consider myself both, so I'm gonna hit both. What is your annual gross total revenue from photography slash videography? So this is where you put in how much money did you make last year doing photography or videography, and that's before tax was taken out. So for example, say you made $48,728, go ahead and type that in and hit next. The next screen says, if you have employees, what is your annual payroll? Well, if you don't have employees, you can go ahead and hit skip, I don't have employees. Now keep in mind that second shooters and subcontractors are not considered employees. So skip, I don't have any employees. Do you currently have insurance or have you had it in the past? Well, if you haven't, go ahead and hit no. And in my case, I have, so I hit yes. The next screen says, have you had insurance canceled or denied in the last five years? In my case, no. How many weeks in total do you plan to be out of the US with your gear in the next 12 months? I don't plan on traveling, four weeks or less, five to 12 weeks, 13 to 20 weeks, 21 weeks or more. In my case, it's four weeks or less. And the reason this is being asked is if you're out of the country for more than a certain period of time, you may need to get more insurance coverage based on your answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit four weeks or less because I won't be out of the country that much this year. Next, drones are not currently covered as part of this policy for lost, theft, or damage. Let's hit the I button and see what else it says. You can still register your drone in your vault, but they won't be part of your insurance plan. Drone coverage is available separately. Get in touch on the support screen for more information. So in this case, I understand and let's continue. So on the next screen, that's where you're gonna enter the value of your gear. Now, if you're like me and you've already entered your stuff into My Gear Vault, you can go ahead and hit Use My Vault Values and it's going to split up the vault values into the sections that you see on the screen. Once that's done, go ahead and hit Next and you've reached the end of the questionnaire and you are on the summary page. You're just one step away from getting a formal quote and proposal from one of our licensed insurance partners. So what you see on this page is a coverage summary which you can read over that's a basic explanation of what will be covered and how much it will be for. You have the application summary which means you can go back and check your answers to see if you answered something that you need to make a change to and then you will see an annual premium estimate. Now I'm not showing you the price right here because that's going to vary based off of how you answered the questions in the questionnaire. The last thing you need to do in order to submit to get an official quote and proposal is go ahead and sign it. That means turn your phone sideways. Go ahead and sign it. I'm going to do that. Boom. I'm going to hit done. And the last thing you need to do is hit submit application. Now keep in mind, you're not obligated to get anything by hitting this. You're doing this so you can get a formal quote and proposal from one of our licensed insurance partners. And that's how you fill out our questionnaire.